Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here using the No Step Back DLC for Hearts of Iron 4, in which right now, um, we're going on the offensive. It's 1943, October 3rd. We've killed off about 6.77 million um, Central Powers individuals, except for Lithuanians. Um, we've off about half a million ourselves, which is not great, but we've just started going on the offensive. I've done two focuses as well, including this one. We've done the Ministry of Mortar Armament. The humble mortars quickly become the main form of indirect fire support for units. We must therefore endeavor to produce as many mortars of all sizes as possible and form a government agency whose only purpose is to do just that, and expand the Imperial Fleet. The Imperial Fleet is pathetically weak compared to the navies of other major powers. We must, must make its expansion a national priority. And then we're going to do all of these, because if you do all these, you can expand shipbuilding plants. We'll get another dockyard and building slot because eventually we're going to push out towards Japan, but let's go ahead and develop Tankograd. Ooh. That's not bad. Military slot or military factory in every state in the Urals or the Far East with at least three military factories. Max ten. One, two, three, six. That's not bad either, but let's reinforce Western naval bases. The Baltic fleet is very exposed to it in its bases. We should invest some resources into protecting its anchorages and prove its or, uh, repair capacities. Not a bad idea. Actually, hold on. Uh, we'll also have two anti air and two coastal forts in a bunch of regions if we have full control over those states. Ooh, maybe we want to wait then. Uh, you know, let's do re reinforce northern naval bases. Despite being located in the Arctic Circle, Murmansk is ironically our only port that remains ice free the entire year and has access to the open seas. We should develop it further to allow better access to the rest of the world. That's probably better to do so right now before we keep going on. They have no manpower. They're on the scraping the barrel. And Germany has quite a bit of manpower, but they're still on service bar requirement. Uh, stockpile wise, I can't imagine they would have a lot. Well, they have no infantry equipment, which helps. And they have artillery, but it's alright. And these guys have, I don't think, I'm pretty sure they don't have any guns like that, so. And that's okay with us. <clears throat> but yeah, I've just been here sitting here grinding away at these guys, so it is what it is. Oh, and now we're stuck in Bulgaria. But really, my main goal is to destroy the Austro-Hungarian army, and then these guys will definitely die because they won't be able to get any supplies or anything like that. So, and we also have railway gun suit, which does help out. So, um, it is 43. I did, forgot about the industry part here, so that kind of sucks. But we do get a thousand weekly manpower already mobilizing because we're in total mobilization. Put women in the kitchen, or I mean, the, no, I mean, uh, 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 the workforce, but race with a bomb. We cannot allow others to develop an atom bomb before us. We must do whatever we can to ensure technological superiority is not threatened. Yes. Anything else here? Not too much. Yeah, not too bad. Overall, we don't have air superiority. It's really bad for us. Like, they just destroyed our entire air force, which really, 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 really sucks. But oh well, there's not much we can really do about that. We're still doing pretty darn well against these guys, so. Not super concerned, especially when the Austrian Hungarians run out of manpower. That's very nice for us. Keep them in place for now. Because we're racking up a lot of casualties, but we're killing off a lot of enemy divisions too. Look at that. 23 divisions stuck in Burgas. Do they have hope to, to break out? Of course not. Why would they? Oh no, they're all dead. Oh, they all died. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that. But we got quite a few comms to go through as well. Such as, create the International Monarchist Union and get all monarchies to join. It's not a bad idea. I think we'll try that. I think we'll try to get the German Empire as a puppet. We'll try to get all of Austria-Hungary as a puppet. So we'll see about that. Poland, I'm, even if we keep them under us, they might not uh, want to be our puppet. So, like, they might not be a monarchy. And that's what I really want here. I want them to be a monarchy. So I'll slow down just a little bit around Serbia, but... <clears throat> oh, well. We got more than us. Oh, we got a lot of trucks. A lot of truckerinos. Construction 5, get some more extraction as well, because you might need it eventually, especially for aluminum. Holy crap, yeah. And a little bit more rubber. Also, I am planning for the war against Japan, so we're already building supply bases here, building more railroads, we're building more dockyards, building more roads, just period, so. We are we are becoming an industrial powerhouse. Hey, Budapest is gone. Nice. How far? Oh, they're not that close to capitulation at all. That sucks. <sighs> Nothing like it, my friends. Hmm. Nice. After northern naval bases, uh, reinforce southern uh, southern naval bases. The Black Sea might look like a secondary theater, but if we lose control over it, we will open up our entire southern territories to enemy invasion, as happened in the Crimean War. We must not let this happen again and should strengthen the naval bases in the region. <coughs> excuse me, but... Excuse me. Uh, get more construction. And they'll get some more planes soon, because it's already November, so... At least Russia is back. Stronger than ever before. <coughs> Another comment was, do the fascist route sometime. Oh yeah, I definitely plan on doing every single route that's possible at the time of recording for Russia. So yeah, so we'll do that. We'll do some Trotsky Path eventually as well. 
Council of Enemies, why'd you do that, son? Let him starve and die, too. Uh, someone says, foreign experts are better than national experts. I don't disagree. Oh, I just I prefer, like, national specialists just because... Yeah, depends on your opinion, I suppose. But just because... I don't know, we're Tsars. So no, I want to focus on the home country more. Reinforce Eastern Naval Bases. Even after the humiliation in 1905, the Japanese have not stopped making noise about encroaching on our territories. We must be ready for a war against them. And that means strengthening our naval bases in the region. That wasn't bad either. Refitting costs. Re ship repair speed. Ship modules. Ooh. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Get some better PPSHs as well. I know, I know I did say I want to get more planes, but... It's pretty important. Oh, we got Vienna. How? They're not close to capitulation at all. Holy crap. Localized training centers. Nice, 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 nice. And start spying on the Germans. The German Germans. Not those Austrian Germans, but German Germans. <clears throat> How's our fleet doing, too? Nice. Definitely need those guys. We killed off a lot of enemies. Denikin is doing pretty well. He's level 7 attack. That's pretty nice. Are we any more railway guns? Oh, yes, we do. There you go. Klagenfurt? Eh, we're not really getting that one. That's fine, though. So, yes, not superior firepower, but, um, Grand Battle Plan. It's so nice. So nice. Get them off somewhere here. <clears throat> and they somewhat did, but they still have a port, which sucks. There you go. Nice. They just died there. Alright, other than that... Oh, steel, chromium. Here, you can do one. It's fine. Middle East, whatever. War propaganda against Germany. I'll do that too, because you can. Nice. And Far Eastern ones. Um, if we do this... Well, yeah, we don't have full control of them, but we'll do it anyways, just because we can, and then we'll get... One, two, three, four, five, six. Na naval dockyards, which would be super, super nice. Any upgrades? Provisation expert. He's level six now, so nice. I might save it for another terrain trait. We'll see, but we'll get there eventually. I don't think we have another one. Oh, yeah, we do. Lots and lots of railway guns. I don't know how Austria can still hold out when they've pretty much lost everything. The Germans shouldn't be doing that well either. But let's get to... I can pause it. It looks like we're not really going anywhere, so just hold and get some planning done. Planning will be super, 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 super beneficial. Uh, Supply-wise, it is looking not too great around here. Now, is it? There you go. Build one more right there, too. Dockyards. All that good stuff. Let them attack us like crazy, and then we'll attack them again. In a little bit. In a little bit. Supplies are pretty bad up here, too, huh? You know what? We'll probably do that, too. Oh, we already built one right there. That's what we're that's where we're building it. Nice. Nice. Um cryptology. Oh, we already have the Germans done. We'll do that one soon again. Yeah, we're probably gonna go to war with the UK. Oh, well, the UK looks like they went communist. Yep. They went communist, and they're the allies. Good luck with that. And they're still attacking. I mean, I'm okay with that. As long as they're still attacking us, that's fine with me. Gives us more time to build ourselves up. I do want to invade the Finns as well, though. Can we do that? Well, I don't think they're going to last for that long before we can do that, which sucks. But, whatever. A new beginning. Oh, that's not bad. It's not great, but not bad. The Common Economic Space Initiative. Ooh. No time for peace. Transformation of nature. It's not bad either. National Ac Academies of Sciences. I kind of like that one. I want to try that one out. Model after our own um, Academy of Sciences. Our partner nation should also be encouraged to establish similar institutes in order to boost their own research capabilities. Uh, ah, why not? We'll do that one next. Because we can. Are you actually losing here? How are you losing, son? You know, that'll just keep grinding up on us. So after that one, then we'll do... We'll reinforce the naval western bases. And we've got to fix our air force. There's just so much we have to fix here. Protect the White Sea, Black Canal. Psychological warfare is very nice. Are we out of anything but planes? Planes are really bad. Actually, we're doing a little bit on planes right now, too. 
It was a little worse before I started re-recording. Oh, we need more rubber. Oh, no. Darn it. I don't want to be dependent on anybody. Make our own. Really. Seriously, just make our own. Doornod? Oh, you're almost done, Doornod. Nice. So, before we get there, we'll be okay. And we're trying to build up as much roads as possible. Nice. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> Give me down here. So, I guess once we, this war is over, I guess we'll probably puppet Bulgaria? Because they could be a monarchy, too. Um, Austria, Hungary, Serbia. Not a bad idea. I really wonder if we can win if we t try to general attack. Probably not. Um, I do want Prague. We just don't have enough divisions around there to really do it. How strong is Germany still? Because they were. They only have 77 divisions max. They have no infantry equipment. They have a lot of manpower. Let's try it. Let's do it. I'm trying it. Get those ciphers going. If we could force the attack, I probably would as well. They attack us, we attack them. We have an oh, and there goes Austria Hungary. Nice. Good job, guys. That's all it took. Cut them off if you can and starve them out. Especially down here. That'd be nice. We have the broken enemy ciphers, Intel Advantage. They do have air support, but whatever. Darn it, we couldn't encircle them. Oh, look at this. Nice. Keep going, keep going. And then we'll do... This one. Oh, they crypted our ciphers. The Union of Britain banishes the royal family. So how can you say you're still in the Allies when that happens? Oh, look at that. Oh, they died. Nice. Yeah. Someone also wants to release countries that can act as buffer states. And take down the UK and France. So we'll try to. No guarantees, but we'll try to. Well, we're definitely spreading in Germany. Oh, look at that. Two, two divisions in a circle. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. It would definitely help if I gave them orders. Go and there you go. I know I did say we we're gonna get some planes, but we gotta wait just a little bit. Berlin will fall. Thank you. Oh, another division died. Ooh, if I go to war with Finland, will they join someone else? They might. Berlin is gone. Oh, I'm not gonna put any factories on here just yet, just because we don't really need to. If anything, I could put factories on better planes, even though we're not gonna be able to make any. Nice. Retribution, nice. And these, I'm using normals, which are 26 combat with, and they're still doing okay, so. You throw anti air, anti tank on them. Pretty good stuff. Pretty normal stuff. Especially for the Germans, since they always use so much, um, a lot of tanks. We lost 1.14 million, huh? They've lost about 9 million, so overall, I'm feeling pretty good about our casualties here. No one has upgraded, which kind of sucks. You are doing what, where? Oh, you're the one up here. Okay. I build lots and lots of fuel. Even Bohemia's getting a supply base. is not too bad. Might need it later. You never know. Oh, we cut these guys off. Well, they're not really cut off because they still have port access, but still. Hamburg? Ah, uh, 9 11. Nice. Alright, excavation. Now let's get some planes. Because we have more than enough uh, air XP to upgrade them. <clears throat> Expansion building plants. Our geography forces us to have a widely spread out shipyards to support near fleets. Any attempt at increasing our shipbuilding capacity, therefore, has to be spread out as well. Pretty much. So all these guys down here have been cut off. I still got supply, some supply down here, but still. Any upgrades, sir? Provisation expert, yes, but not really. Still fighting for Hamburg. Ah, the Rhineland, so nice. 
Let's use some serious aluminum. We buy a lot of aluminum from them. We gotta make sure we get. Never mind. All right, and now we're gonna pop with them. So with Austria Hungary, I'm gonna go ahead and satellite uh, Serbia. Would not be bad. Hmm. Croatia. Satellite Bulgaria, so we can get them as a little puppet state. Mm, let's claim though, because they Bulgaria has cores on that. Oh, you guys should get this too. It's fine. So Bulgaria will look okay because they're a monarchy. They should be a monarchy at least. Let's get Serbia. Cool. And then with Serbia, do they have any cores over here? We could have done. Uh, I guess we could have done Yugoslavia, but eh. Cores, Montenegro. Yeah, I guess we can puppet them too. If not, I can do some fucky stuff off screen. Um, this is really ugly. <laughs> Slovenia. I'm probably going to screw this up a whole bunch, but just puppet them. It's going to look so bad. Why don't I give him Vojvodina? There's not much we can do, though. Whatever. My bad. And you guys. I'll just puppet you guys too. Oh, wait. Oh, you have Chinese territories. Oh. What might we do? There's only one. Other than that, there you go. Not bad. Is that war worth it? I don't know. We'll see. So, this is really. Oh my gosh, this is so ugly. Please tell me, sir, we can at least. I don't know. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, this is so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I'd probably just. This is so ugly. Why did why can't we divide this up better paradox? Why? But hey, we got Otto under us. And we got Vellum the third. All that fighting just to put him under our administration. Triple Entente with the central powers over here. Uh, we're really just fighting on these guys. Now, so I'm gonna send you guys this direction. Alright, get some better planes. We're gonna see some naval bombers too. And carrier bombers as well. You guys, let's train. We don't need more naval XP. We need a lot of naval XP. We need some radar over here as well. Um, max out that naval base. Do we already have it maxed out? Eh, maybe. Yeah, level 10, nice. Uh, wait, air bases. Not really anti air though. That's fine. Build, 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 build. Actually, do that. Do this. There you go. Not bad. And get some rubber too, since we can afford it. That's nice. Can we get our own faction? Cross forces. Oh yeah, we can. You know, someone did ask for it. Inter, inter, international. Come on. There you go. There you go. Someone requested it, so we'll do it. Nice and green. So now we have Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Serbia, and Montenegro, and Bulgaria, and Russia all together. I'm not going to release Romania, even though they are a monarchy. I'm too used to them being under us, so I'm not going to change them now. Actually, since we're here, let's get a better carrier hole. Yeah, my bad about this. I'm so sorry. I mean, if... <sighs> Geography feels better. Now we're out of a lot of factories, which sucks. What do we mean we're criticized for weak foreign policy? We're going to go to war with the Finns. What do you mean, man? You're killing me, Smalls. We have a lot of light tanks, too. Go over by 10. Get some more anti-air suicide pills, yummy. So is anyone doing anything here with the Finns? Or is anyone guaranteeing them? Does anyone care about them? Is anyone going to fight me for them? That's a real question. Oh, crap. We build a Belarusian National Academy of Sciences. We'll build an Academy of Sciences and the Republic of Belarus, which will undoubtedly boost the research. Get 1% research speed. Requires a lot of... Little, okay, so... Um, okay. Military parade in all these places? Eh, I think we'll be okay. Save our PP for now. After the expanding shipbuilding plants, which I should have waited. I should honestly wait for this one, but whatever. So, oh, we can just secure Finland that way. The Grand Duchy of Finland uh, has guarded our northern borders for over a century, but until it broke away from the Civil War, the day has come to read out with Finland with the motherland. 
the rightful heir to the empire. You good word. Italy, Palestine, and Turkey. I like that. Our Slavic commitments. I mean, technically, eh. Eh. Pan-Slavic nationalism is the way I want to go, though. Oh, we just annexed Poland. That would be really nice. Oh, we get a conquered focus against this? Oh. Well, Pan-Slavic nationalism. Well, it is what it is. My bad. I think I read this one, too. Uh, we can allow the repeat of 1905 when our Far Eastern holdings were attacked and were woefully, found woefully unprepared for the onslaught. We need to invest in local infrastructure and be able to shift quickly troops around the world if needed. Um, just in case, I have a feeling that they're going to join the Allies or something stupid like that. I hope they don't. But it's always worthwhile to save just in case. You know, you never know. Can we do anything against these guys? Do we have any planes? No, we don't. God dang it. Yeah, we really don't have that many planes. Some interwar fighters in 1944. There you go. Do the best you can. Our security feeling's gone? That's good. Just don't want to deal with that one. Do one more. We could try to attack, but nah. The horses are doing great, anyways. And the horses are 18... 18 combat. They got a lot of support stuff. Could make them motorized. We have plenty of trucks. Yeah, I'll we'll probably make them motorized. But then again, this guy's... No, even with these mo motorized. Like, he still gets the same bonuses attack and defense. Oh. Uh, Ataman of the Trans by Call Host. Attacking division speed. Cavalry unit design cost goes down. Political power gain goes down. Stability goes down. Cavalry leader experience factor. Um... Motorized defense as well. We didn't go cavalry expert, so. Keep him in place. You guys just keep going out. Oh, sure, Bulgaria. Thanks. We appreciate Bulgaria. Especially since we killed you all, so. After them, I think we're going to go to war. Actually, maybe Sweden. Do we have a war goal against them? Estonia, Latvia, Sweden. Yeah, we do. So that might not be bad. I mean, that means we have an alien invade. I'm not really... I mean, we're kind of there. Um, is it Finland have a monarchy? I can't remember. We're just going to take all states. They look better that way. We already liberated enough people. That's going to be really bad up here. Sure, guys. Sure. Yeah, it's not going to be good up here, is it? Hey, we got that one done, so we should have gotten those bonuses, right? Right? Um, Pansalic Nationalism. I do want to do this one, so... Countries must approve of this. It's fine. Pacific Rim. Pass by the Rim. Not Pacific Rim. Huh. There you go. Do that one rebuild the Far Eastern fleet? Yeah, pretty much. Berlin, Moscow, Axis. Uh, if we were to secure our Far Eastern interests, we much less go... Much less go on the offensive. Must dramatically and drastically expand shipbuilding and repair capacity in, th in this region. Nice, good. Um, planes are coming along. We need some casts. We can get some better ships as well, but still. Ship wise, we're doing okay. Yes. We have five carriers, which is a bit too much. Where are you guys at? Oh, I guess they're down here. Yeah, I think we could kill the Turks as well. Supplies pretty bad, huh? That's good, though. So, god dang it, they're guaranteeing those guys. I hate the allies so much. Huh. They all in the allies? You know what? I guess Finland's next. We could go to war them. I guess we're down here. We'll be fine. Give have some time to do all that stuff. You guys are good. You guys are doing some stuff. Afghanistan, maybe? Maybe? We need more armies, actually. Uh, we're still building up more armies, which is nice. Meantime, how... Oh, do we lose some railway guns? Oh, we might have lost some railway guns. Lost my bad. Whoops. Maybe they got destroyed in the fighting? Do we have... Oh, supply base is going to be all the way over here, too. I guess I get supply base right there. One right there, maybe two. I'll put one right there too. 
fine. It's fine. I swear, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, become spy master. That's good. That'd be nice. Oh, trans doing really, really well. Oh crap. Then the triple on time as well. Hmm. That's a case. That's not good. That's actually really, really, really not good. I want Japan for us. Oh, I guess only 55. There must be Civil War planes here. You three can do that. Do we have any naval bombers? Not really. No, that sucks. There you go. Better carriers. Why is everything completely reset? I don't understand. Uh, what do we need here? Deck space one. Yeah, that's not good enough. I'm not going to do that one yet. Keep going with whatever we have for now. Mm, there you go. And also get another supply base here, or two. There you go. We're also probably going to need against the allies. Uh, pitch that one up first. That's fine. That be. That's fine. That, those, those are the ones that can wait. Yeah, when we go to war. Oh, yeah. Really? When we go to war with the allies, we're going to need a massive. Just massive armies. Because we got to deal with all, almost all of, well, not all, but a huge chunk of mainland Asia, this group, these groups. Yeah, we're going to need another massive army. Hmm. But then again, hopefully the Germans, hopefully they know there's too many guys. Well, there's too many manpower. Not a bad amount of manpower. They have six divisions already. We guys have a single division. God dang it. <sighs> Sucks. Oh, hello. Britain's down there too, huh? Well, fighter threes. Not bad. There you go. Lower by five. Lower by five. Because we need to spend a lot more. On, oh my gosh. Is that really not enough? There you go. Spread it out a little bit. All or nothing cruiser armor scheme. Nice. Some of that too. And. There you go. Cruiser's good. 19 more army. Uh, naval XP, I should say. Dual purpose is very good. Illusion. Nice stuff. Pass by the rim. Followed up with. Rebuild the Fire Eastern Fleet. Now, Fighter 2s, Fighter 3s, Naval Bombers. Come on, we gotta make some of these guys. Come on. We need them pretty dramatically. So can we go to war with the Lithuanians now? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, you know, just in case, you know, you never know how stupid the AI might be, and they might just join the Allies or something. So I always say, just in case, you just never ever know. You should be able to win here. Yeah, I was finding some areas over a river, but still. Wait, we lost. Oh, sure. Thanks, America. Now, carrier planes, too. My gosh, do we need them. Alright, so can we go to war Japan yet? No, we gotta just fight war goal. 30 days is not bad, though. That ain't too bad. Going down there. Carrier holes. Good, good, good. Now, that's a good one. We can retire these guys. One, two, three. We're gonna need some battleships. I should have made more battleships, but whatever. Should be able to win, right? Siauli? Wait. They went to. What? Why did they go to war with Poland? There you go. Did we win? Yay, we won. Thank you. I hope Poland doesn't attack us for it. We just puppeted them, but nah. Nah, these guys need to be eaten up. Not bad. At least we got them, those guys. Poland wants a non-aggression pact. Sure. Well, the man stuff from you, but yeah. Alright, so who else can we take out? Switzerland, maybe? Is Switzerland in the Allies? No, they're not. Take out Switzerland. Actually, is anyone in the Benelux in the... Belgium's not. 
Luxembourg is not. You know, I was getting up on Luxembourg here. Of course, we go to war with uh, the people over here first, too, but still. Honestly, you guys. I can't use them. I'm going to delete them. Subs. Oh, they're not even that good. You guys. Not even that good. And then you guys. Um, That's not bad. I'm going to keep you there, though, but. Uh, there you go. There you go. Please? Please? Wait, France joined the. Okay! China joined. Oh! Okay, if you're not going to die, I'm just going to kill you off. There you go. Now we have everyone here, which is way too big of a fleet. And we have a lot of subs down here, too, huh? All the little subbies and chubbies. So you guys are stuck there, which sucks. You guys are stuck over here. Which sucks. I apologize for this. Oh. So you guys are stuck here. Actually, you know, you guys are kind of okay-ish here. But... You guys are where? I don't want to deal with it. Where are you all? Where are you all? Holy crap. Alright, give us a little bit of time. I don't want to delete these submarinos. Not yet, but soon-ish. We all invade Japan, too. Whenever we can. Uh, let's see. Actually, you guys just take this off, then. Um, doing naval invasion is not great. We could try. We have no Marines, which is kind of bad. But, you know, we'll do the best we can. God, I hope we don't get our fleet sunk immediately. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Oh, and actually, you guys can make it all the way over here, possibly. Or right there. More research speed, maybe? Plus 8%, not bad. After we build the Far East and port. Uh, members of Nintendo 5. Yeah, we'll definitely do that one. It's not bad, it's pretty good, actually. The Lonely Island, we get a war goal against them, but whatever. Modernize the Far East and fleet. That'd be good, actually. That'd be very good. Uh, to Tsushima saw us that we cannot rely on the weight of our numbers. To truly carry the day in a naval engagement, we require well-trained crews and flawless motion, modern warships for, for them to sail. The new fleet we construct must be able to contend with all that of technologically advanced adversaries in the Pacific. We must contend with them. Must, 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 must. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. I'll ask you to do that one, too. More research speed, thank you. How are we building? We're we doing okay. We're building a lot of supply bases in Central Asia. Um, I don't mind maybe building a few more dockyards here as well as here, maybe. Look at that, nice. Get some of that too. Nice. War trains, armor trains, illusions, yes. Uh, better artillery. Eh, we're pretty good on artillery. Anything down here? Rubber. Yes, please. Cause air support, yes, please. Our naval bombers doing? We're gonna need a lot of them though. Eh, we're 15. That's not enough. We're gonna import more. We never seem to make enough. And then, modernize the fleet. I think that'd be great. Yeah, we don't have enough stuff here. Well, can we go to war now? Not yet. How long does it take to go to war? Oh, we lost all those. Oh, no. We actually have to choose a Japanese tile. My bad. I forgot about that. Yeah, we have to choose a Japanese tile. Are we still demobilizing? Man, that sucks. Whatever. Tajik? Ah, do them all. Get it done faster. Except for this one. We're going to go ahead and choose what? The Iron Wall of Russian Resolve. We can do that one. As much as I want to do that one, we might... Nah, I don't know. I might not do that one just because I want to get some of this plane stuff done because it's so bad. Merge naval plants, that's not bad either. Our bravest pilots are just beginning to prove that daring routes across the Arctic are possible. By using unexpected shortcuts like these in our planning of aerial warfare, we'll be able to surprise the enemy. Which sounds really good. 
Strategic Bombers too would be very nice, but... Hmm. Hey, better cruiser holes are very good. Where are we at for the stuff? Nice, nice, nice. Torpedoes, torpedoes. There you go. A little bit of Neovox Beast too is not doesn't hurt us. Uh, rapid fire guns. Four is very good. Get some armor, level four armor. Yes. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Over here, we're gonna grab some more rapid fire guns. We're gonna grab some more uh, aircraft, yes. And then what else? Depth charges will be nice. We already have this on already. <clears throat> Dual purposes. Uh, I guess level one for now. It's fine. And better anti-air. Sure, why not? That, that'll work. For now, we can upgrade them later. And I'll get rid of you guys. One. Two. Three. And if we will probably have to kill the trick stuff, but let's look, at, look here. Look at the factions. What is this map mode? Oh my god, where do we go? <clears throat> so we have the Coalition of Free Commonwealth States. And then we have the British Communist Authority. Which, honestly, that's so good for us. That is so good. Because now we have to deal with less enemies. So we take out China still. China, Poland, the Baltic States, Sweden. And the UK itself. Which means we can if we invade Norway, we can go invade them as well. And America's not in a faction. They might not be able to join a faction. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. We'll definitely see the guaranteeing a lot of the Americas, which is fine. I don't give a crap about the Americas. I don't think anyone gives a crap about the Americas. Or we could take out the free coalition of free Commonwealth states first. That includes France and Italy. Um, actually, that might be easier to do first. That actually might literally be easier. Then again, we probably didn't invade Australia, so we'll see. I'm not sure we're going to invade them immediately, but we'll see. There you go. All the others come down here and start guarding against the Turks. Because we definitely want to get these... Well, we already deleted all the fleets, but I don't really care. Whatever. Um, Zukov. Uh, there you go. Oh, they demand... Demand. Decolonization. Okay. We're getting very demanding over there. Anything else that we have over here? No. And we'll be able to war, go to war very, very soon as well. My apologies for delaying us for so long. Get some more millies. We need some real millies. A lot more millies. There you go. Nice. All right, so you guys. Not training, which is good. You guys are down there. That's fine. You're too big. <sighs> We've, we really need to separate you guys in half. We'll do that. So, because I do want to go to war with the Japanese. <clears throat> Are we capable of doing well against them? Probably not yet, but we do need to go to war, so. Dominican Republic, watch out. It's just ships, right? Yeah, carrier holes. It's fine. Yeah, after modernizing them, we'll get the other stuff done, which would be nice. The good quo has been called in. Watch out. Um, yeah, we could. Yeah, we can't release them anyways. It's just dumb, but whatever. Oh, holy crap! Okay, they're killing each other now. Now that's nice. <clears throat> oh, since we're waiting here, anyways, we're gonna just kill off Luxembourg. Will they join the co-prosperity here? They might. 125 days. My goodness, that is so long. Oh well, that sucks. This is. This is so weird, but yeah, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Why does this have to be so high up here? I'm very apprehensive to put our fleet in the water here. <clears throat> mm, there you go. Try it. See if there's anything around here. Yes, no, maybe so. They don't have a lot of divisions. Their fleet is not bad. Can we navally invade, maybe? Better better plans, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, it's 44, almost 45. And we will get nukes in this campaign, so. Could you guys escort them? Only 31% of the way there, which is not great. Ah, oh, god dang it. We always need supply bases up here, too. Uh, let's take a look. There we go. Alright, then. It's fine for now, fine for now, whatever. Um, supply base, maybe? Just because you can. There you go. Oh! They're trying to shoot us down a little bit. 
Well, that's the case. Can we find anything here, maybe? I'd love to be able to just sink some stuff. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The carriers are not extremely strong. They're okay, but they're not extremely strong. Hey, so good. Destroyer. That's nice. Oh, boy. Another destroyer. Uh, they're trying to destroy us. Which sucks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And let's go do some air stuff. Followed up with... Ministry of the Russian Navy. With the Navy becoming more modern or capable, it is time to recognize it as a combat arm that is equal to the Army in its importance. The first steps will allow the Navy to reform an administration separate from the Army. Well, everyone, we finally invaded, which actually wasn't too bad. I, for I forgot about all the subs here, and we're honestly probably going to be losing a lot of them. But, you know, I forgot about them. But we were able to navally invade. But before we let you know Japan die too fast... Uh, they got a lot of they got a lot of planes. Um, Navy wise, they sell a lot of a lot of ships. Uh, Seventy divisions still. Um, they have a little bit of artillery, quite a bit of artillery actually, quite a few guns. So, yeah, just oh, now that helps. If they're out of fuel. That actually really really helps. Which means uh, we're gonna lose quite a few subs. But if they have no fuel, or the very 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 little fuel, that helps us out quite a bit. And also, I, like I just said, and I forgot about it, and then they just go, which was awesome, great. As we're preparing, I'm also preparing even more supply bases around the world, around our borders, so. Oh, this is... Why oh, is France so weak? I don't understand. Where am I looking at? Oh, Luxembourg 2. Can they join the Co-Prosperity Sphere? We have a couple days left. Uh, oh, railway guns. Oh, we have six. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, we did lose a tank uh, division just because I forgot about it. Um, there you go. You can have one. Um, you can have one. There you go. I just want to make sure that everyone has at least one. And you guys can have more of you want. So also we're doing fossil filing clubs with the transpolar stuff as well. Let's see. All the way over here. Uh, new pilots are expensive to train if they've never been seen a plane before they start training. But many younger people are young people are fascinated by flying. And with some support could grow into very capable pilots that could pick up the finer points of air combat very quickly. If they already know the basics of piloting an aircraft. Improved network railway networks? Yeah. Our first five-year plan proved to be too successful. The massive expansion of heavy industries left the Soviet Union in a much stronger position to defend herself, but the Soviet railway network has hit some critical bottlenecks. The People's Commissariat of Railways, NKPS, has an ambitious plan to close these bottlenecks and ensure that we can defend the motherland. Holes, which we honestly might not ever be able to make. Um, at this point, just make the subs for now, because we already have Kiras, and while well, Kiras are not great, they'll still do okay. Wow. Oh, the German fleet's here. That's why. Oh, thank God I puppeted them. The oh, German fleet. Oh, my gosh. Look at those... Is it so laggy that it just keeps showing us the same thing? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm like, we didn't destroy that many destroyers, did we? I don't like how this is set up. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? You are suffering from this major supply loss, which sucks. Look at this. Nice. Five destroyers. Not bad. <clears throat> I can send you guys down here, too. Should be okay, right? Should be right. Guys, Nagasaki will eventually become the capital, too, so. Go ahead. Anything else? Zukov will be our dude for now. You guys are doing fine down here. We're still building up more rails. Always more rails. Just so many rails. I love rails. Also, I convert all the cavalry divisions <clears throat> to this motorized division, which is exactly the same. I want to get wait and get rocket artillery, so we can throw that on there too. Oh, look at that. Thank you, German fleet. Thank God we puppeted them. Heavy cruiser, nice. The fall of Tokyo, onwards, comrades. Yeah, oh, not bad. Like, it's only us. This is very nice, actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh! We actually had a naval battle. Sink everything they got. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, oh my goodness. I love naval stuff so much. With Luxembourg gone, hopefully they're joining the Core Prosperity Sphere. But like I say, you never know. Um, I don't want France to fall too quickly. If anything, I really want the UK to fall because I, it just takes so long to kill them off. Um, yeah, this is very, a little concerning. Yeah, uh, even though it'd be easier to just take them out that way, Sweden. Still guaranteed by the French, which I don't understand why. Norway isn't, though. <sighs> we need to guard against the Greeks as well. Um, we need a massive army against these guys. The British... This is disgusting. What happened down here? I think I want to fight the Brits first. Because it might be easier. But then again... We need so many armies for it. Like, free Commonwealth states will be easier, maybe. Mmm... Because we need a massive army over here uh, for the British. Massive army. Unless we can't get the poles. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Because they can't guard everything. Oh, look at that. There's a the fleet. Of course, without fuel, they can't do anything. Oh, my gosh. Do we lose some subs? Okay, the game's not refreshing it at all. Whatever. 
Uh, Japan, how many have we killed off? 180,000. That's not bad. We lost 24,000. That's not bad either. And we will pu pu puppet these guys too, so. Death charge mortars are nice. Let's grab. I'm going to do lessons of war as well. Uh, Ministry of the Russian Navy. Yeah. yeah. We could do that one. It's been the aircraft industry. I kind of want to come down here too. Railway no, right network first, though. Nice. This we get some good naval XP. It's really good. It's by promoted. Uh, yeah. Members of 1905. Luckily, Warsport goes up too. More dockyard construction would be super nice. Uh, the War of 1905 is still a black market in people's collective memory. We must exploit this and extort the workers in a monumental effort to create a new fleet which we may dominate the Pacific and fan the flames of their hatred so that they will call for its use to exact our vengeance against our old enemies. But we also need definitely, definitely, definitely 100% have to go for uh, Lessons of War so we can get rid of uh, some debuffs we still have. So, And we won! Uh, includes, of course, this one. We're probably going to do Pan-Slavic nationalism. Russia has long been the biggest and oldest brother in our Slavic family. There's one lesson that we, we have, should have learned a long time ago is that the Slavs will always be attacked, bullied, and oppressed unless we stick together. With the Lonely Island, the time has come for us to redress the affront which the Japanese perpetrated upon us in 1905. This time, uh, there shall be nothing stopping us from ruling the Sea of Japan and bring them to their knees, an empire in the Pacific. Which looks really good. As our empire begins to stretch across the Pacific, so too must our ship design follow suit to be able to exercise our power and influence across these vast swaths of ocean. Nice. And I do, I do want to do this one eventually, though. The Iron Wall of Russian Resolve. The Tsar envisions the construction of legions of monstrous weapons of war that could dwarf the existing tanks and have no equal on the battlefield. Well, the Russian people are unconquered. It's unconquerable. These machines will be the embodiment of that resolve and upon them shall break every army that's thrown at us. Lessons of War. Whatever plans we have before the war have largely not survived contact with the enemy, we must be open to the lessons this war is teaching us and not stick to our dead de dogma. Only then can we stop our retreat and start to go back on the offensive and military reorganization. Our attempts to build a large mechanized army were notable, noble, but more than we could afford. To win this war, we'll have to focus on arms we have carried Russian that have carried Russian armies to victory for centuries. The infantry and the artillery. This doesn't necessarily require us to disrupt the existing formations to a degree, but hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will push probably into China and or France. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.